Hey, welcome back. Well, just off of highway, highway 181 on the way into Portland, you can't miss it. A yeah. long time spot for anglers and bird watchers is back open. That's right. City leaders there and community members gathered tonight at Indian Point Park Pavilion and Pier to celebrate the completion of the $2 million plus project that included several upgrades. Yeah, it's the latest project for a community that is continuing to see a lot of economic growth. Our Bill Churchwell was there and brings us this report. Here we go. Angler Regino Rios had a pep in his step. Well, I'm going, yes. As he pushed his basket of fishing gear to the very end of the brand new Indian Point Pier. Oh boy. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Oh my God. Following the ceremonial ribbon cutting, the almost 88 year old was among the first in line to cast one out. I haven't been back or fishing since they closed it. Eager to get back to his old fishing spot after the pier had been off limits for much needed renovations. I think what's adding to this is in the previous pier, there really wasn't any place to gather. Kathy Scuro is Portland's mayor. She tells us the city has been able to add several upgrades to the popular spot since taking down the old structure. That includes a new pavilion that looks more like a work of art, a fish cleaning station, and even a few picnic tables. All new entrances, handicap accessible, there's lighting. At a cost of over two million dollars, the project, she says, is something that was truly gifted to the city through the financial assistance of neighbors like Gulf Coast Growth Ventures and their contractors. To see this come to life is really something special, you know, the Indian Point is been a long piece of the Portland history. It's very, very, very nice actually. Fisherman Mario Velasquez remembers the old pier and had to see the updates for himself. Yeah, I brought the boys out, got to work a little early, so I was like, you know what, we got to enjoy the time right now. It's really nice. We got to come out and... You're famous. That was Jeremiah. We're making him and his brother famous too for their expert insight on the pier. I, I think it's nice. Uh, I like uh, you made it a little bit longer and the sides more better. No matter your age or level of fishing experience, the pier is expected to leave a lasting impression for all who use it. It's not only free, but will be available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Bill Churchwell, 3 News. How about How that? Cool is